Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Play. Slay the Spire. Still good runs. Not no abject failures in like the past five or six. Some not so great ones, but as uh, life goes on, this is an easy choice in my world. You know, it, it it happens now and then. You get purity as your first get. Uh, it's not a colossal disaster, but it sucks pretty badly. I don't even know. Is it realistic we can kill you? 26, we need three strikes. Uh, not too likely. Not too likely. You have no block next turn. I need three attacks. I'm willing to give it a try. Work with me. I just wanted to play Purity. I wanted to know what it feels like for it to, you know, feel useful. Purity's fine if we get any kind of exhaust energy. This is pretty good. Or we have cards that we don't want. Here's the thing. <laughs> I think uh, I'll do it because it's early and we're, we're probably stacked enough to do pretty well against these enemies. Um, I'm actually going to draw. I want two defense. Thank you. I, I think we're fine to do pretty well against these enemies uh, regardless. So we'll probably gain HP overall. But the cards that you want to see upgraded tend not to be the cards that you get right off the bat. You know what I mean? Um, I think we're going to break even on this fight. Unfortunately. How did you know? I can see the smile on your face. <laughs> Kate's doing great PR for me today. Nobody will ever doubt that I love playing Slay the Spire. Toss me a drop kick. That's about all I, I feel like we need there. With an upgraded bash, we can reasonably expect our drop kick to work for us most of the time. Right now, you know, here's the thing. Purity is like a galaxy brain play. I really feel that a lot of the value in purity is that you feel smart when you play it. Because you're like, I'm removing strikes and defense from my deck. When in reality, I'm not going to say that it's useless. But the effect of removing strikes and defense from your deck is, is relatively bad compared to other cards. Even though it is zero. Um, Rupture does work well here. But I, I, I feel like I, I have the need to let you know that I don't really think that this is... Uh, we've had great card selection so far. Hopefully we get the kind of relic set up uh, starting, you know, immediately from this guy uh, that will that will change things for us. But, uh, yo, we got some, some jank draw. We're going to get a bunch of powers next turn. Uh, I think you don't play Combust. We probably should have exhausted both powers, actually. Oh, but it's a skill, so it would have made him stronger. So it's a, not a guaranteed good play, I suppose. And you know what? I mean, 24 damage. Uh, it's, it's a bit not fantastic, but keep ourselves at a reasonable level of HP. I'll toss a bone your way, and we'll use the potion. Okay. I think we need a perfected strike for damage. War paint upgrades purity. Um, to be fair, I don't know what the heck else it could have upgraded. <laughs> so I'm willing to, <laughs> I'm willing to say that, you know, it was either purity defend or two defends in all likelihood. And we're going real risky on HP here. You know why we're going real risky on HP? Um, I think the deck kind of blows right now. So I'm, I'm really willing to try to kick it into gear. I don't like using the potion there, but HP is a little precious. Dude, I don't know. Two ruptures is kind of hilarious. Let's try to make it work. Heal me for certain. Getting a lot of relics that, if you asked me, I would say that we probably don't deserve. Um, I, I don't think this would give us four strength. I think this would still give us two strength per turn, just for 10 damage instead of five. So I really don't think that that's what we need. Um, in that case, well, what do you need? <clears throat> Great question. I'm going to start pulling some of the basic strikes out, I think. And uh, 
We're, we're going up against the Guardian. I'm going to not do that. I'm not going to fight the Elite, I, I mean to suggest. We got to be a lot faster on this fight. And, you know, to be fair, we don't we don't really want to play Combust. You know, it's not really great to lose one HP to deal five damage per turn. It only looks good if you have uh, Rupture, but even then, I don't think it looks that good. We want, um, well, we wanted something a little bit better than this, I'll tell you that much. 18 damage, give me the block and get rid of this. No, 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 don't, don't get rid of this, because it might make Perfected Strike worse. I don't know, I don't know if that's how it works. Draw Perfected, you coward. We still got you, but I'm mad. I don't know, man. I I think there's two ways you play this. You go for a straight up... Uh, by the way, stop pulling strikes out of your deck if you're going to do Perfected Strike, dummy. Or at least replace them with something. I guess we did get a Pommel, but... Um, yeah, I, I, who's our... It's a Guardian? Give me Demon Form, okay? Here's my thinking. Right now, we're in a real uh, rough spot. What are we going to do about that? I don't know, but uh, maybe we'll die and then start anew. If we don't die and start anew... What I would love to see is uh, a Mummified Hand, which is not a boss relic. But would allow us to play our powers, at least. Straight up, we're not going to play our Ruptures, because we're not going to play Combust, either. So, uh, Unless we needed to play it here in order to get through this, but we don't. So, my, my plan is very simple. Block uh, as often as possible. While you're blocking, you're gaining strength. Apart from that, you, you really want to play Bash when it shows up. Yo, this is... It's a little sketchy. Because <laughs> we want to be able to roll this guy over in a single turn. Um... Thankfully, we were able to do so there. I honestly think if we just make... You know, if we make it through one more delicate setup here, there's a there's a chance we'll have enough strength to, to feel okay. We have to live, so I'm like, okay, I can hit you for 34. I can hit you for 40, for that matter. This has the added advantage of maybe drawing a block. But then we will actually die. If we don't draw a block, we die. So I can't afford to do that. I actually think there's a chance. We just got to do 60 damage this turn. There's 30. There's 30. <laughs> Alright, one strike and one block and we probably kill you. We need the block. And then somehow we got it. Uh, that was a bit of a dangerous play. I'll tell you legitimately, we obviously do not need another demon form. Or any more powers ever, for that matter. Exhum only hits purity. I guess you take bludgeon, but uh, even that I don't really like. And I hate to say it, but I really think we need the energy. In order to play anything but demon form on the turn in which we draw demon form. But this is, uh, this one's cursed. Like, for real. Extremely cursed. That might look okay, but please keep in mind, we did use... I guess we're just gonna hit you. And at this point, we're not gonna play Demon Form, so might as well exhaust it. But we did use our, uh... A, like, a pretty good potion to make that happen. Uh... I think we're gonna be able to kill you... We could have played Rupture, but I didn't really want to play Combust and lose HP. Hey, we got you anyway, but... We need some Defend in this deck. We definitely do not need another Combust. I don't even think Rage is that good. It's kind of just a Necessity's the Mother of Invention sort of situation. Uh, man, we really need like a Mama Fine Hand. I wish I could take Feed, but I'm going to take Entrench. And uh, I'm just going to hold it there, I guess. I feel a drift on this run, which is never a good sign. This time I am going to go for it because we got it early, but... 
A combust is still not really that good here. The only, I mean, the principal value of the combust is the fact that we get two strength per turn out of it now. The damage is, I don't want to say secondary, but more minor. Certainly we would like an evolve added to this deck as well, given the choice. 14, 13 is not quite enough. Even with the combust, now that I think about it. Okay, made it through. Um, I do think ghostly armor is is pretty important. I, I think if we could get shrug and armaments, that would be ideal. We can't. Just give me the shrug, I guess. They're both pre-upgraded, but... I don't know. I feel like we... <laughs> uh, you know, actually, I mean, we don't benefit from upgrades that much, but I, I think we have a chance to just get our heals where we needed to go anyway, so... I'm giving it a chance. There's definitely nothing we can do there. Um, if we can upgrade our whole deck, I don't know. That probably does improve things for ourselves. Being able to play Rupture for free. We should probably fight Elites because we do want the chance to get a Mummified Hand. Bird-Faced Urn would also be okay. Transform a card. I actually, I still think we could transform our strikes. We definitely need to keep our defense. I know we have a perfected strike, but, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures or something. Dude, I think we crush you. Straight up. Even at the cost of 10 damage. This this run is just a, it's a mishmash. It's a pastiche of uh, of 20 different runs working together, but not really. I wouldn't say they they're really working together. They're just coexisting. If we live through this floor, you know, I don't want to be negative. Anything could happen. But I also don't really foresee us living through this floor. But again, you know, who knows what could come to pass in the future. One hit kill would be very nice here. That's perfect. We get to roll in with our next uh, to our next fight with Pen Nib. I'm going to take a True Grit. A Heavy Blade is also very interesting. Um, don't get me wrong. Without Anchor, we would for sure be dead. I don't think that's even, like... It's negotiable. I hate to say it, dude, but, like... I know I ask for it all the time. I think a single Reaper... Might be enough to put us back on the on the right track here. Like, it's looking increasingly like we're going to make it to the boss. The second floor bosses are, like, the worst. I, I never know if I'm going to... The first floor bosses are a gimme. Not that I'm going to win, but that I know how to handle them at least. I actually am going to take a shot on Havoc. And I rarely do that. I will not take Ritual Dagger in this situation. We're very low on HP. I would love an early demon form. My god, they've done it. Uh, to be fair, Combust... I, I think you play it. It scares the crap out of me. And just pop this so you for, don't forget to pop it later. Um, combust will work these guys down faster, which is a big part of the deal for me. I saw the post on the subreddit. Draw first. Draw first. This is fine. Play that. Pen nib. It will kill you, so we'll play it. I don't want to exhaust a defend. We have wounds that we can exhaust later. 26 damage. That's no good. Wish me luck. Sure. Um, get rid of a basic strike. Get out of my face. So we get to 22 block. Oh, you should have definitely doubled uh, in a slightly different order. Man, I wish you were, like, dead. Um... Am I willing to take 9 damage to bash bludgeon you? 
though, but man, it's 79 damage. I don't think we're gonna get too many more opportunities like that, so I am willing. This is not what you want to see out of this turn. We are 18 strength up. Oh, thank God. It's a hit. Draw. This guy's already dead. So we are going to focus on, on getting you. I don't know. I, I think there's a chance. Definitely need to draw. Hold on. Okay, so you have 160. Bash takes you down to 133. And then this would not do enough to kill you. It would do a lot, don't get me wrong. So we need to be able to block. And that's not going to be enough block. I still don't... Th we couldn't have gotten to Pen Nib. So we're going to die. We're just going to start a new one this run, you know? It's unfortunate, but we, we didn't have the optics there. That run was kind of cursed from the get-go. I'm, I'm happy to be uh, going back here. We tried. We tried to outscale enemy strength, and I have to say, it almost worked. Give me the random rare. I'm fine with that. Juggernaut block is a deck we have not built in a long, uh, have not built in a long time. By the way, order, order. Costing yourself five damage actually could cost you way more than five HP over the course of this fight. <clears throat> this guy, depending on the order in which you draw your your gas, he can be a real problem. So what do we want with Juggernaut? Um, certainly free powers, or powers that give us free block, or a lot of block, would be nice. Let's get some draw going here as well. Makes a perfected strike better in the future. I don't really want to lose HP right now. I like what we got going on in the deck. Um, we are about to hit a shop, so give me the curse. Here, I think is most sensible. Pull injury from the deck. We got 43... Um, if we had any means of gaining strength, you know, I might consider trying that out, but uh, trying out Pummel, but apart from that, I think nothing here really tickles my fancy that much. No, absolutely not. So let's Smith, and I think step one is definitely making Juggernaut better. Rage is uh, just a huge get for us. We're actually not going to play Juggernaut here, which makes this fight horrible for us. Because our, our main strength is, like, instantly neutralized. Um, so we want to draw Bash on this one. After the first two. We did not draw Bash. Um, 25 is unkillable. So, best case scenario. And probably worst case scenario. We're going to be low on HP. We're not going to be dead, though. That's just the, you know... To some extent on that guy, it's luck of the draw. Toss me a true grit, and uh, I think we'll we'll be a little aggressive on elites here, because relics that give us block could make Juggernaut even better. Dude, Duvu Doll is really interesting. I have uh, I have had a wonderful time. By the way, that was the wrong play, but I, it looked cool. So can you blame me? Um, Duvu Doll plus a lot of curses is enough to carry a deck. I actually think we can go straight into Sword Boomerang, which is already going to do 12 damage. Even just one strength up is pretty good, and we can't remove the curse from our deck, you know, no matter what. So that's one strength by default. I don't know, two True Grits. I think we can do it. It is a little much this early. All right, these guys. We really want some AOE. Let's see if we can make this happen. It's not AOE, but I mean, Perfected Strike is for free is very good. Haven't played Juggernaut yet. I think I'll take 10 damage uh, just to get Sword Boomerang out there. We really want Juggernaut block. 
Didn't even hit Pommel Strike. Lucky us. So I think things have tilted in our favor on this fight now. You've decided for me who was going to get attacked. Probably around the time... Um, we should start looking at uh, what our boss is going to be as well. That was a very easy fight. It's weird, right? Because, like, Impervious... I think we have to take it. I just hate that... I mean, I hate the obvious, that it exhausts. Might sound a little wonky, but check this out. Five damage done to all enemies. We take one damage total. And exhaust our best card. Sometimes that's the play. Five damage. Taking 16. Still horrible, by the way. This is just a bad fight. Like... I wish that it was different, but it isn't. This deck short circuits what I like about our deck. P playing Juggernaut and then just, you know, destroying enemies piece by piece. So we're fighting the slime. It's all good. Like, it's all, it's all really good. But I think we have enough block and we have to go body slam. And in keeping with that, I, I, this is, we should not do this. Yeah, let's rest. I was like, we need to upgrade Body Slam. But I think if we upgrade Body Slam, we're destined to die. Even a good fight against this guy. Like, what do we want? We want to not draw Impervious this turn. Lucky. What do we want next turn? Draw Impervious. I wish we could play Juggernaut along with it. We're likely to get both. Or neither is also... Sure, that's cool. Um, so next turn we'll get Impervious. Now that's that throws a real monkey wrench into my game plan here to be honest with you um so we gotta we gotta hit you extremely hard here i think please don't hit body slam all right you hit a true grid which sucks pretty badly as well we have one hp We're dead. All right. Oh, I played the wrong card. We still would be dead, but... All right. Try again. Uh, this one, it, it didn't really take off either. Sometimes, you know, because life's like that. Chill out. What you yelling for? Think about the comment you're writing out. If you only let it, let it be. I'll, I'm not going to try to hit that Avril Lavigne high note. I'm, I'm more of a bass singer. Be like, you will see. I like things the way they are. Bag of Prep, by the way. Common relic, but common in name alone. You know? Drawing two extra cards once for free? Eh, miss me. Drawing two extra cards on the first turn. Oh, hit me. Grab me with that body slam. That is not how that works. Okay. I, I still think Cursed Injury is better than losing max HP. I think it was ignorant of me to believe otherwise uh, earlier. And I'm going to go hard on the Curses. Ma Bank is literally going to be like straight up useless and garbage. But So what Curse do we remove first? Definitely Regret. It's terrible. And Ma Bank is like immediately done. So this is not great. Do I really? Now that I think about it, what do I care about the existence of a battle trance? To help me draw into uh, bash faster? I actually think this fight is going to be pretty bad. I guess you draw through the curse faster? Yeah, I don't think this is going to be very good at all. Um, I may be a little reckless early on here. This is... I, it's is a danger for me. This is the risk of our first real complete disaster of an episode. Haven't really accomplished much so far. Not out of the norm, by the way, for Ascension level uh, 20. But 
out of the norm for our recent performance. Even taking two damage, it puts us in lethal range, which is very dangerous. We got a lot of dazes going on in this deck right now. We can only afford to take, uh... Well, we can afford to... Oh, we're dead. Okay. That's fine. I actually just went way too hard early here. We're going to start up another one. I haven't given you the entertainment you signed up for today. So we're going to pop back in. Play. Standard. Ironclad. Let's go. Should have looked. <laughs> but this it's extremely likely to hit an elite. If we had two elites, even better. I've come to enjoy Wild Strike decently. So what do you want to see here? Basically, no combat, or as little combat as possible. I'll pay to heal. I'll, I'll get the gold for the curse. Dude, we're actually going to get two elites out of this, which is very surprising. You're going to think I've lost my mind? Give me that early searing blow. I actually think we can make it work. And I pivoted, because I saw an extra opportunity for a, a campfire and that's just searing blow basically working its magic next turn would have been hilarious if we didn't draw a strike there but okay red skull is not particularly strong what are we looking for it's not that we don't want anything it's just that none of the stuff that's immediate right there seems that good. Okay, Ma Bank. We are going to spend money pretty soon. I actually, I, I think if you try Searing Blow, you have to commit. So forget the Elite. Getting an extra 7 damage out of our Searing Blow is probably more advantageous. We're going to be weak and frail next turn. It's unlikely we kill both, but we don't really have to. No, we're going to kill both. Okay, that's fine too. Certainly don't need another Searing Blow, but an armament that can target Searing Blow is fine. Remove Doubt. Um, headbutt to bring Searing Blow back. And I actually quite like Bag of Marbles as well. And then it's just like, do you need a Pommel to start working this? Or do you just... I'm going to save a little gold. We're, we're pretty rich on gold. I'm happy with that. Searing Blow plus three is probably going to be plus four by the boss. It's a strong start, to be honest. I think a Whirlwind is, is totally fine. Who are we fighting? Guardian. Flame Barrier is a little better against the Guardian. But a Whirlwind to, like, counteract uh, enemies later. Like, floor fights on the second floor, which is really where my attention is given right now. Seems most appropriate. So you don't commonly do 60 damage on turn two. <laughs> but I'm happy with where we're at. Um, I do think we actually headbutt. Well, you know what? I, I'm going to get a little super reckless here. We're going to bash. Then we're going to headbutt Searing Blowback. Searing Blow will do another 63. And we can even draw it again on the next turn. We didn't, but that would have been pretty cool. Um, sure, I'll just hit you with one of those. I mean, we're not in danger of dying. Basically, there's a 1 in 2 chance we kill you next turn. And we did. Never mind. It's slightly worse than a 1 in 2 chance. We needed a little bit more gas. We could have done that in a different fashion. Weak Potion. Certainly, I think you would look at this as a double tap. And if we can keep our deck thin enough... If we can keep our deck thin enough, I think we can make this work. So now I do want to add an Evolve. Um, but I basically... I went for the extra energy... Thinking... Um, we don't actually have to fight an Elite. But I, I don't think I mind fighting Elites here. Uh... Thinking like the idea is if you can get a double tap searing blow, you're just gonna be like in love. So, uh, I'm just thinking. 
I, uh, definitely a bash. Means that we, we come close to killing you if we draw a Searing Blow. I did say close. Unfortunately, close but no cigar here. And we're still not there, which is real frustrating. Those wounds, I'm hoping they're not going to be a problem. Give me a ghostly armor. We're going to be very careful about what we add. Oh, blue candle allowing us to get rid of curses. If only it allowed us to get rid of statuses as well. But still, it's not, it's not a bad thing to have. You know what we want. I mean, I literally am going to phrase it like that. You know what we want. Evolve. Evolve does a lot of great work for us. Oh, good. 12 damage to all enemies. You'll forgive me. I don't think that's particular. I guess it would have been 20. But we're really just worried about the survival aspect right here. So we can't attack next turn, which is horrible, because we're almost certainly going to draw a Searing Blow. What did I tell you? Just draw it again. That would, that would go a long way. This one's falling apart. Hilarious. Well, we're, we're going to engage in cowardice here. The thing is, um, I think Searing Blow is pretty great. No Evolve, so give me Juzu Bracelet. I think Searing Blow is pretty great, but the downside of Searing Blow... ...is that in order for it to be good, you got to draw it. And we haven't been drawing it as much as we would like. Slash ever. Uh, so, I mean, this is a... I would like to headbutt Whirlwind, but let's see. Whirlwind is already doing 11 damage to each enemy. Which is way more than 11. Because they're vulnerable. So it's actually going to be like 16 to each enemy. So we only need to play it for 2. As, as jacked as this might seem... I think you bring back the block. Just because you can. That was a great... Drawing Whirlwind on turn 1 is very nice for us. Uh, bash Searing Blow. I think you'd focus on the big baddie here. He is gonna block. We got him though. That's good. That was way easier than our previous fight. Ancient tea set. Um, there's definitely something to be said about a pummel here. So, hit me up with that. Um, I will take Ritual Dagger as well. I know, we're getting we're getting hurt by doing this. I really think you, you kind of just ride the lightning, you know? You gotta hit Searing Blow. I do want to heal. I'm hoping we get the opportunity on some of these. One of these days, I'll, I'll figure out what the max HP is going to do for us. Because we have Blue Candle, I think you... You basically, it's one HP for self-forming clay. That's a pretty good get. Searing blow plus six. Is that good enough? Oh, dude. Heal me. That's hurt, you dummy! Well, it's an issue. Let's let's leave it at that. It's not good. <laughs> Very important. Um, I think it's got to be Juggernaut, even though uh, Rupture would give us a little bit of extra strength for sure. Because we, we would lose HP from Writhe. We'll lose HP from Ascender's Bane if we want to. But I think it's got to be Juggernaut. Sixteen damage. I stand by it. 
You taking Pummel is not that bad. Okay, we got extra strength. You taking Searing Blow is horrendous. It's truly awful. Please give it back. We're done. Oh, I forgot there's Styrofoam behind me. We're done. There's just... We don't have it on this run. Um... We only need to play it for two, so let's get as much block going as possible. It's an okay turn to get Searing Blow back. And let's... I mean, it doesn't matter if we get rid of it or not. Because we could have drawn it early. Uh, you still play those because of the Juggernaut? Don't be a dummy. I'm being a dummy. The double tap is not going to get us there. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it was closer than it should have been probably, but we didn't get there. Course. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!